I had a viewer ask me about serapeptase. And no, this is not modern art or child's uh, art. This is a picture of the molecule of uh, serapeptase. It comes from the uh, gut of the silkworm and has been used throughout the world for decades as an anti-inflammatory. As an anti-inflammatory, it has not had any reported negative side effects like all the other anti-inflammatories that we use in the West, like uh, aspirin and salicylates, um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, um, steroids, and the uh, monoclonal antibody steroids, and uh, like uh, Alaris. So if it works, it could actually be a really good thing. Uh, what are the uses for serapeptase? Um, and we'll talk about whether it works in a few minutes. Uh, Ford Brewer, <coughs> PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, disability prevention, helping you have a uh, better life, a longer life, adding a couple of decades of healthy life. Serapeptase, what are the uses of serapeptase? Well, again, anti-inflammatory. It's a proteolytic uh, enzyme. It's a it, enzyme, enzymes are all proteins. Uh, let's break the word down, proteolytic, protein, uh, breakdown. Lytic means breakdown. So it's an enzyme or a protein that breaks down other proteins. <clears throat> um, since it's a protein, like the protein that you get from uh, legumes, beans, salmon, uh, these have no uh, stomach side effects or other side effects. Um, this is used by the silkworm. It was discovered in the source, comes from the silkworm. It's used by the silkworm to uh, dissolve the cocoon so it can fly off. I guess it flies off as a moth. <clears throat> and pardon my lack of knowledge in that area. Um, it's been by, he, used by humans for decades as an anti-inflammatory. Very, very safe. Uh, so obvious, uh, um, advantages if it works. Now, <clears throat> so let's start, let's start looking at whether it works or not. If you go to a, a groups like Life Extension Magazine, they go on to say that, yes, there's huge opportunity, huge uh, growth, huge potential with this um, with serapeptase. If you go to these uh, harder science sources, um, you start to get a different story. Here, let me go over the, the basics of that. Um, <clears throat> again, LEI and other sources that sell supplements, very positive, huge promise. But if you go to PubMed, Co Cochrane, Medline, uh, other clinical sources, um, clinicaltrials.gov. You don't see quite the same thing. Uh, there were 16 results at the last lit review that I saw, which admittedly was a couple of years old. 11 of those were randomized clinical trials. And so if you remember the, um, the hierarchy of good evidence, randomized clinical trials are the best, category one, and the worst is number five, uh, opinion of a, of a quote expert, end quote. So here's the summary. <clears throat> uh, from these, and it says basically, these are being used a lot, uh, serapeptase. The existing evidence is insufficient to support its use. So, to get back to the, um, my viewer's question, how is it supposed to work from a cardiovascular perspective? It's supposed to uh, break down fibrin or fibrinogen. And fibrinogen, uh, as many of us know, is a major source of clots. Um, it is like the backbone of the clotting mechanism. And if it breaks down fibrinogen, then hopefully it'll decrease clotting. Now, here's the question that I have, and it's related to the statements that you see in the more scientific uh, clinical literature. 
you go back to ingestion of other proteins, like again, legumes, animal, uh, animal or plant proteins. Those proteins are uh, digested by the acids in the stomach. Uh, I don't know why the uh, proteins in the uh, in the, this protein, serapeptase. I don't know why it wouldn't be digested as well. So I think that my guess, my theory right now is that uh, theoretically it sounds good and it probably does a good job for the silkworm. But when we ingest it, our stomach probably digests it. I'm hoping to hear more evidence though. Talk to you later.